Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a few methods for automating the backup of your Microsoft Access database, but I'm going to show you how to do it using a patch file because it's faster than VBA code and you can also use it for other types of files too. So go ahead and open a new text file and you can name it whenever you want. We're going to have our backup saved in this backups folder, which is currently empty. And now we can just go ahead and start our code. So right off the bat, this at echo off at the beginning of a batch file, this ensures that the script runs quietly and only displays the output from the commands, if any, and not the actual commands themselves. Aside from that, one of the first things you want to do is set the source file path and the file name. So you might have saw that my database was called Union DB, but you just put your own right here. Okay, now let's set the backup folder path to the backups folder that you just saw a second ago. Basically what I'm doing is I'm telling you to use my current directory and to go to the backups folder. To be clear, this is the folder where I have my database and this batch file. Now this is optional, but here's a function that would create that backups folder if it doesn't already exist. Some of you might recognize the mkdir or make dir command from other scripting languages, so here it is. And here I'm gonna copy this backup folder reference so I can paste it in other parts of my code later to save time. So we're going to put a timestamp in our file name so we know when the backup was made just for cleanliness and organization. And this might be one of the trickier parts of the script, but don't worry, I'll provide a copy of this code in the video description. Okay, now we're actually setting up the copying of the database to the backups folder. You don't have to use a timestamp in the file name, I just chose to, I like it. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and save this as a batch file now. So I'm going to go to save as type all files and then you want to make this a dot bat or batch file and go ahead and hit save and it's going to create a new file so you can see right there there it is it even looks a little bit different that's our batch file right there so let's look at our backups folder here nothing there let's try to run this and see if it makes a backup okay it looks like something's happening here aha there we go it works awesome all right so now we know it works let's implement it in our microsoft access database all right, let's start simple. Let's just go ahead and make a button implement our new bash file that we just made. So first, let's make a subroutine here. So let's go to view code and we're going to go to insert module. And we're going to just create this sub called run backup batch. And this is what's going to run our batch file. So we're going to dim batch file path as a string. Okay. And so we got to define the path to the batch file. So we want the current project or the current path, our local directory, basically. And then we're referencing the backup database.bat file. Okay. So basically that right there. All right. Okay. Back to our code window. So we actually have to run the batch file. So that's where the shell batch file path part comes in right there. We go on VB hide here. And this should prevent the batch file from interfering with the database. I just want to put a little message box that confirms that this ran. And then you can say whatever you want here. I'm just saying backup process started. Nothing fancy. You can do whatever you want. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. And then we're going to put this into a button. Right, so let's go to form design here. Grab a button. You can use something else if you want. I'm just going to do a button though. And just hit cancel there. And just name this. Or give it a label at least. You really should name your button. I'm just trying to be quick here. So I'm just going to use the default name though. Anyway, let's look at the backups folder. Nothing there. Okay, totally fine. <laughs> All right, so let's go on our button here. Go to properties and do it on click. So when you click the button, it'll run this batch file. Okay. And you can just hit control V or right click and paste it in there. So we have run backup batch. That's our subroutine that we made. And let's see if it works. Let's open the form. Let's click on it. Okay, there's that message box that we did earlier. Let's see if it worked. And there it is. It did work. Awesome. All right, so we know that we have a manual approach to make this work. Pretty convenient, and it's definitely fast. You saw how fast that was. Now let's try if we do it on load. So when the database or the form loads, if we could just, you know, run the batch file. Let's see what happens. This is a pretty automated approach. You have to open the database and the form, but let's just see what happens. Oh geez, it crashed. That's not good. Let me try something different. Let's see what happens if we just use a message box to ask us if we want to 
run our batch file. That way there's a little bit of a break when the form loads and it's not so crazy all at once. All right, so this time what we're gonna do is, you know me and my message boxes, I love them, but they really are handy. So we're gonna create this response. You can see it's a message box right here. Do you wanna make a backup? Really simple. Okay, we're gonna use the VB yes, no option. So we get a message prompt with the yes and no options to determine if we wanna make a backup or not. Oops, yeah, that can happen if you hit enter too soon. All right, and gonna add that confirmation part there so you can see that, just a title. And we're gonna say, if the response is yes, we're gonna make a backup. And if it's no, don't make a backup. And this is gonna run every time your form loads. So there are things you can do. So maybe you want it to run just once a day. You can do that. You can just create an append query to a table, make a log. And if that date's already in there, it'll just skip it. You can do stuff like that. And if you need help with something like that, just let me know, happy to help. But I just wanna make this kind of quick. There's lots of ways you can, you know, do it once a day. That's just one way. So let's go ahead and see here, nothing in the backups folder. Let's run it and see what happens. Okay, we got the message. We're gonna hit yes. Okay, we got that other message box. That's a good sign. Awesome, okay, that looked good. It's there, it's saved, that was successful. So that's a semi-automated way to do it. All right, let's make a fully automated mechanism for backing up our database, even if we don't open Microsoft Access. There's a way to do that. We're gonna use a task scheduler in Windows. So you can see right there, you can just search for it like I did. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new action and we're gonna have it run daily. So we'll make daily backups. Okay, so go to create basic task. And you can just name it. You can give it a description so you know what this is. Just a little reminder, doesn't have to be much here. I'm just gonna say something like, I don't know, this backs up our database, whatever. Okay, hit next. And you can choose how often you want this to go. I'm gonna say daily, hit next. Okay, every day at 6.48.02. Actually, let's change that. Let's do uh, 6.50 a.m. every morning. Let's hit next. Start a program, next. And this is where we got to find that batch file we made. There we go. Let's find it. Go click, hit next. Okay, looks good. Let's finish it. Okay, so it's 648 right now. In a couple of minutes, it's going to go ahead and trigger. So let's wait for it. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to make you wait that long. Don't worry. I'm going to speed things up. There it is. It backed up. 819. There we go. Did it right around 651 a.m. So it took a second to trigger and then it went for it. So that's great. All right, so how about the next day, okay? Yep, it did the same thing on 820. So there we go. Now I'm not gonna make you see four, five, six days and so on, but you get the picture. Every morning around 6.50 a.m. it's going to implement that batch file script and it's gonna do its thing and, and make backups. And so yeah, this is automated, it's great. All right, that about wraps things up here. But yeah, definitely try some of these techniques on other types of files. It's a pretty scalable approach. With that, I want to thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm grateful for each one. Really appreciate you all. And for now, I'll catch you all later. Take care.